Hi guys, this is going to be my 35 week update. Five to go. Holy moly. Like, this is going so fast. Um, I just, I feel like, I feel like I just did my gender reveal, like, not even that long ago, and it was almost four, four months ago. Oh my gosh. Um, so, let's see, uh, this video I'm going to talk about the ba the baby, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I'm going to talk about um, the symptoms that I'm going through, yeah, and then um, I just have some announcements, just looking at my um, notes here, and then, uh, oh, I am going to go over, so during my baby shower, and I promise as soon as I get video feedback from my parents' um, camera, I will put a video up of my baby shower, but um, the video that I have is not that great, so I'm waiting for them to give me their footage so that I can use that. Um, so there's that, and then, so at my baby shower, I got these um, advice cards, and <laughs> I want to read them because they're awesome, and actually some of them are really good ideas, and I'll try to be as nice to Justin as possible because they're, <laughs> some of them kind of rag pretty hard on him, um, and then I will do my measurements at the end, so let's just get started, and um, we'll just go with it this time. So the baby this week is 20 inches long, and that's pretty much full length. So um, they said if she's going to get any taller, it'll kind of be in the next week or two, and then um, just depends on how tall we are. I'm going to guess that she's around 20 to 21 inches, because that's, I think, what I was, and he's not much taller than me, so I can't imagine her being any much longer than that. Um, and then five and a half pounds this week. So um, it's, I think it said... About mid-pregnancy, the baby is only about 2% fat, and now her body contains about 15% fat, so she's a little chunky monkey, and, um, yeah, little, all they're doing is gaining fat right now and brain development, lots of brain development, so I've been eating lots and lots of omegas and vitamins and making sure, um, I've been staying on top of that, because I was taken off my prenatal because of the constipation. Um, I just have been taking other different types of vitamins, like, to stay on top of it. So, um, my symptoms, so last week I told you I had, um, I had an upper respiratory infection and, what did they call the other one, ulcerative pharyngitis, which is a fancy word for a cold that caused ulcers in my throat because of all the coughing and hacking. So that coughing is gone and the upper respiratory congestion is gone, but now it's all in here. So now I'm finding a sinus infection. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So I'm not allowed to go into labor because I can't do my breathing techniques. Like, <laughs> you'll see me have contractions in this video and I'll just be like, because <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah. So she just needs to stay in there a little bit longer until I can get over this. Um, so there's that. Hips are extremely sore. Like, when I, if I walk, um, any, like, any certain amount of time or, like, any extended length, um, they are just, like, sore. I've started the waddle. I've officially started the pregnancy waddle, and it's, horrible. I never thought that I would waddle, <laughs> but I do. And now I know why people waddle when they're pregnant. It's not even the extra weight. It's just your joints are so sore because they're, they're expanding. So yeah, it happens. I never thought it would, but here we are. Um, and like I said, any type of like extended movement or exercise, doing laundry for 15 minutes, um, Walking down to the mailbox, yeah, starts the contractions back up. So I have been trying to really take it easy. Um, between Sitting between this chair and my bed and the couch, I am going stir crazy right now. I need out of my house badly. 
really, really badly. Help me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I've scared some of my friends off because I just, my texting has just gotten, like, off the wall. Um, let's see. My lips are dry, but I'm pretty sure that's part of just the winter here. Um, can't really, I mean, I just keep chapstick on them. Let's see, my bladder. Oh my gosh, I pee all the time, but it's not peeing. I like, I feel like I have to pee really, really bad. I get in to go pee, and it's two to three drops. I kid you not. So, I think that's a sign she's moving down at least, or at least getting bigger, because my bladder is not very happy with me. Um, on the plus side of that, though, I have been sleeping throughout the the whole night without getting up to pee. Because uh, there was a few weeks there where I was getting up at like 5, 6 a.m. to go pee. And um, I'm not having that anymore. So that's good. And <sighs> my hair like grows so fast. It wasn't even a month ago. It was like right here. That's almost two inches, literally, um, in a month. And it's not for my prenatals because I'm off of those. So... Yeah, hooray pregnancy for growing hair. That's awesome. Uh, not so awesome on my legs, but whatever. <laughs> I can't reach those anyway. Uh, yeah, see? Start crazy. Um, so, let's see. Oh, so all the books I've been reading keep telling me that um, eventually her movement is going to slow down. And it's going to feel like um, you're just... like. Yeah, a lot of moms get worried because they're not feeling her. Well, I want to meet these moms because my daughter is constantly moving and constantly kicking me, and it hurts. And she just hasn't slowed down. So I'm hoping that she's not this active when she is bored because there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to keep up with this. It's all the time. Yeah, and the kicks are pretty solid. Like... At least they're not my ribs. They're, like, straight out in the belly. But you'll see a foot, like, sticking out of my stomach because she's just, like, kicking so hard. And my stomach will just, like, Pfft. Yeah. It's awesome. Once again, that was, Pfft. Just so you know. Just so you caught that the first time. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for symptoms. Not a lot really new, but some of them I just felt like I needed to go over again. So it's been a while. Oh, I do have some back pain, but <sighs> that's been kind of helped with the massages. I've been starting going to get my prenatal massages every week now um, because those are supposed to help with not going back into labor too early again. So we'll see if that works. Uh, okay, so just a few announcements. My hospital back is packed. Hooray! All done! Um... With the scare last time, I was like, crap, I probably should pack my bag because I could go at any point at this, really, at this at this point. So um, I will put a link up here this time, somewhere in here, um, that goes to the hospital bag video. And uh, if I've missed anything, let me know because I try to keep it pretty basic because the hospital is going to give us a lot of stuff, and um, I want to milk them. Because that's what my insurance is for. Right? Uh, oh, and everything is off my registry. Yay! I am like, done, done. Just playing the waiting game for her to get here. And it feels really good. Like, to not have that stress. So, <clears throat> there's that. And, uh, oh, the other thing I want to mention. There's two things. Um... Prettypushers.com. So if you are going to have a baby anytime in the near future or down the road, um, if you don't like the hospital gowns that they have, and I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last video, but if you don't like the hospital gowns that they don't have that they have at the hospital, where you got like one tie in the back and when they put the fetal monitors on you, they're like exposing everybody to your vajay that's in the room. And luckily, it was just the baby's father, which, whatever, the last time. But um, what I did was I went to this place. It's just, They're disposable. 
I don't know how you can have a disposable cloth, whatever. Um, but they're $24, and what they do, they have a halter, and they have a really low cut in the back for the epidural, and they're kind of a dress style. And then in the front, they have a hole right here and with some ties so that they can do the fetal monitoring, monitoring with like through the hole instead of um yeah exposing everybody to your goods um which i know you're not supposed to you know <laughs> eventually you just kind of whatever let it go because everybody's going to see it anyway and during delivery but um i just don't every time i want to have to get up to pee don't want to have to flash everybody so i did that 24 dollars totally worth it um, and I got black, so I don't really know how it would be disposable, because I'm pretty sure black isn't going to stain that bad. We'll see. I'll let you know how that goes. And then the other site that I signed up for was called WeSprout.com, and I'll put both of these down there in the description. Um, and it's awesome. There's a lot of forms out there. Um, it's still a new kind of startup, but it's free, and, um... It's great for like tracking immunizations and um, anything about the baby, really, as well as, well as um, there's forums and places where you can ask questions, and there's other moms out there. Um, so it's been a really cool experience. I try to get on there once a night and answer some questions and uh, kind of put my two cents in uh, on a few other things. So um, I really like it, and it's like I said, it's free. So, you know, what's the worst? You just don't use it, whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you get a chance, you should go check it out. And what else? So that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty much just playing the waiting game. So let me do some of these mommy advice cards because they are awesome. There's only a couple in here. So the first one was to take lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures. Well, um, that was going to happen anyway because I take pictures of everything. I, I have, like... 300 pictures of my cats on my phone right now. Not the crazy cat lady. Or maybe. The next one was... This is from Jennifer. She always has really good advice. Take lots of pictures. Ask for help. Sleep when you can. And walk away when you feel like you're losing it. Very good advice. This is from Amy. One of my best friends in high school. Always pack extra clothes, diapers, burp rags, pictures. Take lots. Get some of you with Laura and plan play dates. Listen to all the advice and do what you think is best. Very, very good advice. Because you can always take everybody else's advice and then not really think about what you think is best. This is from Julie. Read to your baby every night. That way their brain will be nice and big. Very good advice, Julie. <laughs> Uh, this is from a family friend. When the time comes, ask for drugs. That will be the only way you're, um, only when you're giving birth, no other time. Uh, okay. I have funny friends, just so you know. Uh, the next one is from another family friend, an old neighbor even. Uh, sometimes you have to go with your gut, even if the doctor may say something different, that's okay. Babies don't break. Let's see. These next ones are from um, Pam I Am. Yes, Pam I Am. So, have a separate bag of toys to use only when you go out to dinner. So the special toys will be kept um, in the bag that will keep her entertained longer. Which is really good advice. Um, I didn't even think about that, but it's true. If they haven't been playing with the toys before, they're going to be a lot more entertained by them when you're out at dinner or doing something special. And then her other advice was to buy a bikini in an adult size and take her picture every year until she fits in the bikini. First year's um, tuck under. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then finally, last but not least, my two favorite sisters, Missy and Angie. Marry a cute, nice, rich guy. <laughs> Don't follow Justin's advice. Don't leave the baby with Justin for too long and give baby lots of cuddles and smooches. So thank you to all my friends. Those were some of the fun ones that I picked out um, for from the baby shower. 
Hey, anyway, let's do my measurements, and then I will be done. I think I've burned enough of your time. And uh, let's see where I'm at this week. I think last week I was at 36 and 3 quarters. Yeah, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I might be measuring a little smaller. Let's see. Front. Side. I look like a round, I have a volleyball in front of me. You can actually see the roundness. Okay. And my belly button, I've given up on it. It's flat. And I do have the line right through there. Oops. Help if there's not a knot in my measuring tape. Thirty-seven this week. A little over thirty-seven. Boop. Thirty-seven. So I'm sticking around the 36 and 3 quarters, 37 mark. Um, I definitely am feeling some stretching when I sleep, so. <sighs> All from the inside. Still no stretch marks. Five more weeks. We'll see how that goes. All right, well, I will see you guys for week 36. Next week we do have an ultrasound to make sure she's head down. So I'm excited to see her. And um, hopefully everything is pretty uneventful this week. So I will see you then.